Hi guys, my name is Oluwaise and welcome to Liberty Studios. It's a new year. Happy New Year! Like, it's my first time of dropping a video this year and I wish everyone a prosperous one. I have some great content this year. Right in front of me, I have my screen and uh, I'm very excited for what's to come. Let's get into this. So today, what are we doing? We're learning about curves and how to effectively use them to color grade, to control your exposure, and to enhance your picture. Curves is one of the most beautiful, most powerful tools in your arsenal as a retoucher and even as a photographer. Most of the time I use curves and I, I, I can't even imagine a world without curves. So basically, it is important to understand them properly. But before we get into this, I would like you guys to take a second to like, share, subscribe to this channel. It's my goal to create a big community where we can learn and grow in photography and even Photoshop this year. So let's jump right into this. So there are several ways of using curves, but we're touching base with just two of them today. How to use curves to color grade and how to use curves to add contrast to your images some more some something more close to dodging and burning let's jump right into this so right in front of me i have my screen and i have an image i've worked on before that um i want us to use as our what's it called example so without doing so much the first thing you want to consider after or before you retouch any image if you if you would like to just use this to color grade or to 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 enhance the image like i said earlier is just to come here choose curves and start working how do you get this to color grade your image it is very simple so from this preset you don't have to touch anything here this is where it would save all your presets basically so you have the RGB and here I would come here and use this red so around this red I have my shadows around here I have my midtones and I have my highlights around here so basically I'm just going to use push red just slightly away from my red and return red into my mid-tones and even my highlights I still want to keep red in my highlights and my mid-tones but red is slightly away from my shadows so once I've been able to do this I'll come here go to green now it depends on me if I want to push green into this or not but let's play around it I like dealing with shadows more because I feel like this, it depends on the image actually, but this image has a lot of shadows and mid-tones and you only have a little bit of highlights and whites. So let's deal with this, let's see the result. I think I'm leaning towards green. Maybe that's the feel I want to give this image, but I just, I just feel like I'm leaning towards green, which is not bad. I like the result I'm getting as far as you're pleased with what you're getting. I still want to like take green off my mid-tone and possibly push green into my highlights. And let's come to blue. Basically, I want to push some blue into my shadows push more blue into my mid-tones and uh, push blue away from my highlights so this is a very good way of using curves and you're not limited to what you can do with this you can always play around this to give you the best result you're going for so this was before and this is after you've just been able to color grade your image using just curves another way of using curves I think I would um, have to hide this for now and uh, show you 
the second way that you can play with your curves. Another way of using curves is just by opening curves without doing so much. Most of the time I use this, maybe when I'm finalizing or when I'm trying to make sure that every, everything is fine in my retouching. So I use this, I change this from normal to soft light. It saturates everything and it makes the image so dark. But what you can do is take the opacity just a bit down, maybe somewhere around 30 or 30 something. 35 is, is not bad. Yeah, so I've just been able to add contrast to my image without even going back and forth, without doing so much to my image. So right now I have curves. I can name this contrast. You create a curve, a curve adjustment layer, and you're trying to like um, save it. It is very easy to save. Just create your curves, come around here, click Save Sculpt Preset, name it, give it a name, then click Save. Any other time you want to use it, maybe for future reference, you can always come here, open your curves, and choose from the presets. It's as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching this and I hope um, you subscribe to this channel as more videos will be dropping.